Hello and welcome to this section of the Algebra Tutor. In this section we're going to continue talking about polynomials and specifically we're going to talk about what to do when you try to multiply polynomials together. So I'll give you a big picture roadmap. Polynomial is just a big word. It means multiple terms in an expression, right? Multiple groupings of things that are multiplied together, right? We talked about what a polynomial is. In the last section we talked about what do you do when you subtract or add them together? And basically it boils down to comparing like terms to see if you can combine them together. Now we're going to talk about what to do whenever you multiply polynomials together. And then in the next couple sections after this we'll talk about dividing polynomials. So we're kind of relearning our basic math, how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide these giant algebra things called polynomials. So it's really not that hard uh, when we get going. So let's say you have some simple polynomials, 3x squared times 4x cubed. Now I'm saying this is a polynomial here, multiplying by this polynomial here, but of course these are each one term, so they're very small, little insignificant polynomials, but they're being multiplied together. So what do you do here? When you have things multiplied together like this, first thing you do is multiply the numbers. 3 times 4 is 12, okay? And then you're still going to have these, exp these uh, variables and exponents multiplied, so for now let's just leave it as x squared times x cubed. Now we've already covered this. What do you do when you have exponents, variables that have exponents multiplied together? The bases are the same, so I can add the exponents. So it'll be x to the fifth power. And that's the answer, 12 times x to the fifth power. So you multiply the numbers, and you're basically you're multiplying the terms that have the exponents as well. In this case, we know that we can add the exponents, so there you go, 12x to the fifth. So it's building on really something we have discussed previously. Now this is a very simple problem. We're going to get into larger polynomials and how to handle that here in just a few minutes. But for now, let's say we had something like 2 times x squared times y to the third multiplied by 3x cubed times y squared, something like this. So again, there's no plus or minus signs anywhere, so these are not very large. This is a single term polynomial called a monomial. This is a multiplied by another monomial. So you have numbers. 2 times 3 do first is 6. And then basically you start multiplying both of these guys times both of these guys. But you'll eventually notice that you'll have x squared times x cubed. They have the same base, so you can just add the exponents. x to the fifth, just like before. And then you're also multiplying y cubed times y squared. I have the same base, so I just add the exponents. 3 plus 2 over here is 5. So I have 6x to the fifth times y to the fifth. Right? So anytime I'm multiplying uh, terms together that have exponents, if they have the same base, I can just add the exponents together. And that is something we've learned before. We're just kind of, kind of introducing it again here more as a review, but also so that you will have the, the foundation to continue on with some of these other problems in a minute. Now what if we had x squared times y cubed all raised to the fifth power? And we've done problems like this before. We have two things going on here. First we have two items in here in the parentheses and we have the exponent there. So the exponent is going to be applied to each of the terms inside. So we have x squared raised to the fifth power times y cubed, also raised to the fifth power because it applies to each guy. Now that we have it written out like this, you can see that for the first one you have a power raised to a power. So you multiply the powers. 2 times 5 is 10. Here we have 3 times 5, so we're going to get 15. So x to the 10th, y to the 15th. So really you're using things we've learned before in some of these review problems. Now. Let's just kind of inch up our way to the larger ones. What if you have 3 times x plus 4? Well, you have a number outside of a parenthesis, so it gets distributed in. So what you'll have is 3x plus 3 times 4 is 12. So you distribute this guy in. Now let's ratchet it up a little bit. Let's say we have 3x on the outside and then x minus 2 on the inside. Now you can kind of think of these as polynomials that are being multiplied together. This is a polynomial with two terms inside. The first one is this one, the second one is this one. This is a polynomial outside with only one term. So even though this might look familiar from some of the previous problems we've done in the last sections, and sections before this one, really it's kind of like a polynomial multiplied by a, a larger polynomial. But in any case, what we're doing here is what we've done all along. We take everything outside 
and we have to kind of distribute it in to everything on the inside. So what you're going to get, 3x times x is 3x squared, because x times x is x squared. And then you have a minus sign that comes from here. 3x times 2 is 6, and x comes along for the ride because there's no other x, there's nothing to add it to. There's no other exponent to add it to, so it just kind of comes along for the ride. So you're going to get 3x squared minus 6x. So basically here we multiply this times the x, giving us this, and then we have this multiplied times the negative 2 to give us this guy over here.